just if you if you think of what organization would benefit uh, from being kept in a collaborative environment, uh, let us know. If we've got some. We may. It's surprising that somebody may have one. Have you thought of talking to this organization for the following reason? Great. Uh, even if you bring up one that we have talked to, we're not going to put you down. Said so we've talked to them. We'll make note. That just reinforces that we're talking to the right ones. So it could be the woodworkers, it could be the steel fabricators, it could be the, as, as you have here, the facility managers, anybody that is, yeah. So uh, the, the, yeah, the, the correct approach I think here would be to create a list of all of those uh, elements of a building information model where, you know, additional data would make the model richer and those would be the people that you would want to reach out to most first. Because that's, I think, what it's all about. You know, is perfecting the model. This, I think this agenda topics about, you know, for for us to implement BIM in the industry, we need to have everyone doing it. Uh, so having better connectivity with other associations and councils allows us to reach more people and, and spread that message, and also assist the, the industry at large to adapt the technology, and also have means like this to to kind of flush out where the um, the impasses are. Right. So. Um, I guess we're looking we're looking for direction on who who we should prioritize reaching out to uh, from your perspective. 